name is Vu Tran. Uh, I was born in uh, Saigon, Vietnam, and I escaped with my mom and sister in uh, 1980. And then I was uh, sponsored by my father, who was already here, and I uh, uh, came to Oklahoma. And I uh, was raised there, lived there for 20 years in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And uh, yeah, I spent some time in Iowa, some time in Las Vegas, and now I've been living in Chicago for about nine years and I teach at the University of Chicago. Most uh, explicitly, uh, my work is about uh, Vietnamese people and Vietnamese Americans uh, and the experience of immigration and being a refugee. Um, uh, you know, and more kind of indirectly, it's about, you know, I use aspects uh, of my, other aspects of my own life, whether it's people I know in my family. Uh, first grade. So I, uh, like first grade reading class, you know, we go off into our little groups, reading groups, and uh, in my reading group, whenever my teacher assigned uh, uh, you know, story writing, it was just, I don't know, there was just like this enthusiasm that I would have, this excitement. Nothing in school excited me more than that. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I don't think it took me long to just, you know, realize that, that I want to be a writer. It's just in my head, that's it. Mm -hmm. And so in many ways, I can't really remember a time before, I, a time where I didn't want to be a writer. Yes, I don't, probably in ways that I don't even know, you know, um, how could it not? But I think growing up in Oklahoma in this part of the country and in this kind of culture, um, you know, m my life is surrounded by uh, artists and very liberal minded, very, you know, lefty people. Mm -hmm. And um, and I, I tend to to think that way, but at the same time, I, I've always had a kind of um, practical streak and a sense of, uh, I hope, groundedness that I think comes from my upbringing in the Midwest or, or in Oklahoma. I think, I mean, I, I was, I didn't know any writers, you know, I, uh, I didn't grow up on the you know, certain pockets of the East Coast where, you know, you're surrounded by artists, and you're surrounded by elite prep schools and, and Ivy League schools. I never had a sense that I, you know, had access to that. Um, so, I mean, on the one hand, I feel like that might have made writing feel less accessible to me, but at the same time, I never doubted it. Yeah. I never doubted that I could do it and never doubted that I wanted to do it.